I'm curious about something, particularly with you. You're a blue-collar comic. You sure. Right? Yeah. And um, uh, why didn't you do the series? I got a work ethic problem, and they... <laughs> 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 they were all really aware of it. Uh, <laughs> I had, uh, what but, are you saying? You didn't get her done? I didn't get her done. I did not. <laughs> People have put more effort into tubing a river than I have put into this career. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's fascinating to me about the whole blue collar comedy phenomenon, right? Is that most of us associate it with a particular political philosophy. We consider it as being right wing, Christian America, the antithesis of what we had imagined your crown to be. But nobody on that blue collar tour does political material, right? Uh, I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I was an opening act on that tour, and so was uh, Larry the Cable Guy. We did 10 minutes apiece. I would go on first, then Larry would go on, and then Bill Ingvall would do 50 minutes, and then Jeff would do 50 minutes. Now, I drink on stage no matter what, and I drink this drink, scotch and ice cubes. So I, I go on, I have a drink. By the time it came, came for me to come back on stage and do the little encore at the end, I was baked. <laughs> you are, in fact, an alcoholic, right? I only uh, drink when I work, which and I'm a workaholic. 